In this video, we're going to look at how we would draw a cooling curve when we start with a liquid mixture and cool it down. We'll start with a liquid mixture at 1600 Kelvin and a mole fraction of 0.7, so that's right around here. That's our starting point. In order to understand the behavior, let's look at a couple regions. The yellow region corresponds to a mixture of a liquid and solid silicon. So if we pick some point in this region, then the lever rule will tell us how much liquid's present with this composition in equilibrium with solid silicon. The orange region corresponds to two solids in equilibrium. So again, picking a point corresponds to solid silicon in equilibrium with this compound Mg2Si. So this is a stoichiometric compound and we have two solid phases in equilibrium in this orange region. So let's look what happens if at our starting point we start removing heat at a constant rate. Well we're going to cool down the liquid till we get to this point. So we would see on our diagram the temperature would decrease how fast depends on what the heat capacity is for the liquid. And then at this point, which is close to 1600 Kelvin, we start making solid silicon in equilibrium with the liquid. And as we continue to cool down, we make more solid silicon. And we change, of course, the composition of the liquid because we're removing just silicon from the liquid. And we'll continue till we get to this point where we have now solid silicon and liquid in equilibrium. And so in our cooling diagram, we're going to see the temperature changing more slowly once we start making the solid phase. And so for here, let's just say the temperature is decreasing, but we're removing much more energy because of the phase change. Now we get to this point. Now we're looking at a slightly different situation. This is eutectic. Now as we continue to remove energy, we have a liquid at the eutectic composition in equilibrium with silicon. We're going to stay at constant temperature while we remove the rest of the energy. And so first on the cooling diagram, this means we're going to be at constant temperature. So this is this is actually horizontal, and this is the formation of this compound, and pure silicon in equilibrium and the eutectic liquid disappears, so that when we continue to remove energy, we move down to this point, which is this much, this composition, pure silicon, this composition is the compound. The only thing we're changing is that we're lowering the temperature, we have no further phase change, and so now we're looking at changes due to heat capacity, and depending on what the heat capacity of the solid is determines the slope of this line. And so the details are not strictly correct because I didn't look up heat capacities and heats of melting, etc. But the important points are here, the temperature decreases based on heat capacity as it does here. At this point it's a liquid, this is the heat capacity of the two solids. Here we have the formation of the compound and additional pure silicon. At the eutectic point the temperature does not change. Here the temperature decreases as we form silicon, solid, from the liquid mixture. Well let's look at one more example of cooling curve for the same diagram. And we're going to now start with a different composition. We're going to start with an overall silicon mole fraction of 0 0.33 and at 1500 Kelvin. So that means we're starting here. Now as we cool down, of course we have the same behavior we saw before. The temperature is going to decrease because of there's a heat capacity for liquid. We're removing energy, and the heat capacity determines what that slope would be and what the scales are, of course, on the diagram. We get to this point. Now, everything in terms of phase change takes place at one temperature because below this, 
what we have is this compound Mg2Si. So now we're going to have a horizontal line corresponding to whatever the delta H for this compound, the heat of, of fusion. And then once we've made all the compound at this temperature, which is about 1360 Kelvin, then we'll cool down the solid, and this again will be the heat capacity of the solid. So again, this is horizontal, and once we pass the horizontal constant temperature solidification, now we just have the pure compound and we're just cooling it down, and how fast depends on its heat capacity.